Good afternoon and welcome to Gladly Strutting where we talk about shoes and pre-loved fashion and so it tends to be a lot of pre-loved shoes. I uh, hope you enjoy your stay and today's video I thought was going to be a really short and sweet one but uh, uh, let me tell you now, take a seat, grab some tea or coffee, whatever you can do to get through this because today's video as you can see by the title is my blue shoes. Um, most of them, actually they're all high heels. Uh, one is a high heeled boot, but I thought I had five or six. I thought I had more pink shoes, right? I was like, I've definitely got like five or six pairs of blue shoes. Turns out we have more than that and I cannot count them. So I'm going to try and whisk through them. Um, here we go. Okay, let's start with the ones that are not so blue. So this is Jacquemus. Yes, it's black, but the strap is entirely um, a darkish blue, if you can see over there. And I've dropped the other one. Okay. It's some blue, so I thought to mention it. Uh, also, speaking of this, it's predominantly the black YSL opium, but it's got the electric blue, which is absolutely stunning. But my goodness, not enough blue. Okay, moving on to navy. And this is what surprised me. There's a whole lot of bloody navy shoes in here. <laughs> um, so we'll see how we go. Okay, I'll try and be really, really quick. We'll see how we go. Navy, um, classic, sort of neutral, easy pump to go with literally anything if you're going to work if you're going to an interview if you're going to church if you're going somewhere boring funeral you could probably do this yep if you don't want to wear all black anyway okay next is absolutely one of my favorite shoes um yeah in my entire wardrobe this is an alaya platform wedge um sofia vergara i think i saw had the black version of the what do you call it the platform sandal heel sandal um and those, that's the only other person i can reference um but yeah absolutely stunning and i've got a thing for suede and just look at the detail of all of these these are little cutouts in the suede leather that make flowers oh my goodness oh my goodness love these okay moving on um to i had not even one issue okay uh this is that's not a good admission maybe i have too many <laughs> navy um simple pumps but this one has got lots and lots of strapping this is a mimco um strappy easy block pump um i guess i have a lot of strappy shoes so maybe i haven't oh actually this is this is velvety but the rest is suede gotta love 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 of, for suede so and that's coming that's coming through okay let's try and move on really quickly i'm telling you you need to have your cup of tea ready this is a country road sandal super super comfortable um sometimes it looks back but i promise you it is a navy i mean it's a suede um so it looks dirtier than what it is um really really comfortable really easy to go with everything so comfortable in fact that i have this um also in like a turquoisey teal green um wonderful shoe okay moving on giuseppe zanotti <laughs> Uh, not as comfortable, um, high off the ground, navy blue, um, don't know what this wedge is called, really high off the ground, not so practical, but hey, we got it. I think it was one of those things that I'm like, I remember this from however many years ago, and when it actually came through, um, when I saw it on the real, I was like, yeah, no, we're getting it, uh, even though we might only wear it 10 times <laughs> in our lifetime, but at least we can wear them 10 times. They're not so bad, they look more extreme than what they are. Okay, let's try and whiz through. Karen Millen, um, I absolutely love these blue velvet um, strappy sandals. I wore these to my which graduation was this my second degree um, graduation. It would be like four or five years ago now, um, and they're absolutely stunning. They were they're more comfortable than I thought they'd be, um, but they were a little bit slippery on like the wooden surfaces. Um, but anyway, it was fine. These are gorgeous, really really wonderful. Um, beautiful shoes we're slowly moving towards lighter blues so this is a beautiful beautiful aquazura floral um, leather pump only trouble with this uh, is that I'm I'm trying to sell it because one foot fits and the other one doesn't and the only problem is here one foot is more wide than the other so it's not so comfortable um, and I've tried to stretch them but I think they deserve a better home than the home that I can give them which is just sitting there doing nothing because it doesn't fit my foot but absolutely gorgeous love 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 the detail in this and we are moving into lighter blues, as I said. Uh, let me grab Nicholas Crockwood. These ones, they're Sarah Jessica Parker ones. Wonderful shoes, uh, really out there, really outgoing, kind of, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Too cool for me, <laughs> um, essentially. But I think these are amazing. Um, not that comfortable uh, for my wide ass feet, if I didn't mention it before. Um, but you know what, these are gorgeous. These are kind of like a, 
a once in a lifetime unique shoe and you if you know you know it's a nicholas kirkwood i don't mean that in quiet luxury i mean if you know this is a nicholas kirkwood you know um i think so i think this was one of like the first ones anyway stunning that's a bit of a turquoise there that was a shift from all the navies um and let me go to plastic <laughs> <laughs> this is a Winsor Smith lipstick shoe, absolute plastic, um, complete plastic, but it's a thick one. So I, it's not just like the regular clear ones where like they stretch too much. This one doesn't hold that much stretch. So I was like, you know what, I'll give it a try. Um, it's only a little bit comfortable, but it serves a purpose. If you're not really looking for something that's closed and it's like the dead of heat in the summer, the dead of heat, the dead of summer and it's hot, whatever, um, then you can pull these out. They do serve a purpose. Um, Okay, moving on to Sophia Webster. Stunning, absolutely stunning. This royal blue with this detail going down into like a turquoise blue. Stunning, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this shoe. Only trouble is that this is two sizes too big for me, but I had to kind of go that extreme because the middle strap didn't fit me properly in the one that I got in a 39 and a half and I've since sold that shoe. Um, so this one is still way too big for me here, but fits me here. So I'm trying to figure out whether or not I should sell these or hold on to them because they're that pretty. Okay, um, moving on to very sparkly. See, now we're getting into the more exciting shoes. The rest were just navy suede boring pumps anyway um giuseppe's a naughty betty um look at this i just think of elvis honestly when i see this shoe look at this it's just incredible this is a size 38 so if you know anything about me i'm a 39 um especially in giuseppe's a naughty and this is a 38 and i knew what i was getting myself into and i managed to just about squeeze into into this shoe so if you see my heel just about to slip out don't mention it i know and I don't care because this shoe is so gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, the detail in this, the crystals in this is just absolutely, absolutely amazing. Okay, moving on to, mm, let's go. Oh my goodness, we're getting into the sparkly of shoes. Saint Laurent Crystal Tower pumps in the blue. These are the ones that my sister got for me after I, I got the white ones and I was so obsessed. So she got these for me and then uh, we got the pink ones later on. Absolutely stunning. Royal st classic you know these are these are just absolute like i can see like a queen wearing these not the not the queen but like a queen <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> somebody somebody super cool somebody way up in the highs of society you know what i mean could be wearing this shoe absolutely all right moving on to what i thought was my favorite blue shoe i recently did a video on my favorite um shoe from each color and i chose these but maybe i have some regrets um, I love, absolutely love this. And look how that is having trouble focusing. If I hold it here, this is a metallic um, electric light blue. And there's lots of scratches because this shoe has been worn a lot. Um, but it's absolutely wonderful. Yee okay, let's just kind of leave it like that because it's 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 doing too much. It's doing too much. Alrighty, girls and boys, we're almost there, I promise. Uh, next is this Lesila. Well, it's uh, Am Amilo, Amino. Mino Lesila, somebody with the last last name Lesila, <laughs> or collaborated with Lesila uh, to create this shoe. It is a blue suede base, um, and a lot of the crystals kind of come off a bit more pink and purple, so it makes this shoe look overall purple. But I promise you, it's a blue shoe. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Uh, need to fix the heel, um, heel tip, but yeah, gorgeous, wonderful shoes. Lesila, very, very underrated. And I think it's one of the coolest designs in terms of like my crystal shoes. I have a lot of crystal shoes. Have I done a crystal collection? Anyway, don't get too carried away. Um, these are wonderful. Moving on to another crystal shoe. Now, when I pulled this out, I was like, ooh, was this one the favorite instead of this one? But you know, we still love this. This is, this is the OG, but I mean, Lady Peep in Swarovski Crystal over here. Why did I forget Lady Peep in Swarovski Crystal? Hmm? Stunning, wonderful, gorgeous. She looks like she's never been worn, but she's been worn. <laughs> um, she just holds herself really, really well. Uh, she's absolutely stunning. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Okay, let's move on to the last one. And I promised, no, I didn't promise. I said that I had um, a boot and I do have a boot. Look at this one. Sorry, got really excited. This, Miss Prada. Miss, Miss, Miss Mayor, Miss Prada. This is gorgeous. First time I actually saw this, 
um oh my goodness don't go blank now oh i forgot her name why am i forgetting her name i just watched her on instagram before she's lovely fashion mum why am i going blank on fashion mum? anyway fashion mum had a video um on her shoe collection or boot collection years and years ago and i saw these shoes and i was like who who what when and how and why and how come i don't have these so from that moment they went on my wish list and I uh, searched and searched and searched and I actually found a pair and I bought that pair but the person never shipped them they just took the money but then um, it was through eBay at the time and I was like look eBay I have not got the shoes there's no tracking for the shipping so I got my money back but I really wanted the shoes so I was like give me the shoes anyway I found them much 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 later years later and these are absolutely stunning blue velvet they're just incredible like the most perfect 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 shoe to round up our blue shoe collection okay all right thanks for watching catch you in the next one bye